Hey bulleteers, today I'll be teaching you on how to change uh, oil, engine oil on a bullet infield you see. First place a large vessel beneath your bullet infield because there is going to be too much oil. Uh, run the engine for around 5-10 minutes before uh, changing the oil so that the engine oil has heated a, a bit. This is called your primary drain cap. This is your secondary drain plug. And this is your primary drain bolt. So these must be opened for uh, draining the engine oil. And you need an 8 mm ratchet wrench. You can open this primary drain cap. The trick is to first loosen one uh, bolt a bit, then second one uh, alternatively till this thing comes off. Once you have removed the bolt, you might need to tap on the primary drain cap a bit. And use caution because the engine body is very hot. So use caution after that while removing all these bolts and caps when you tap on it the primary drain cap will come off uh, it will be collected uh, by the whistle that you have placed beneath the uh, in, uh, engine for opening the Secondary drain plug, you will need a 19 millimeter ratchet or spanner. And then you have to open the primary drain bolt for that you will need a 12 mm spanner rotate it anti clockwise to get rest of the engine oil out You will need to tilt the engine left and right a bit uh, so that uh, m most of the oil is drained out. After that, After that you will need to remove the oil filter element, for that you have to loosen up these three bolts with 8 mm wrench or spanner or ratchet. So these bolts are held by a spring so you might need to apply 
pressure on the oil filter cap and then loosen these bolts slowly one by one and do not loosen one bolt all the way through loosen one bolt a little then go to the next bolt loosen that a little and keep on loosening them till they come off keep the pressure on the cap so it doesn't pop out because there is a spring behind it once the bolts are loosened you can remove the cap there will also be a gas uh, o-ring gasket that has to be taken out and there is this oil filter that has to be replaced so keep everything except for the oil filter nothing has to be replaced so keep everything very properly and also ch check in the vessel that is collecting the engine oil that no part is left in the used oil take out all the parts and take them for cleaning now once you rip, uh, you will need to buy a new oil filter which has to be changed every time the oil is changed it cannot be put directly into the oil filter case it has to be first soaked in oil so put uh, the oil filter in any vessel and fill it up to the brim with oil do not use uh, do not use used engine oil use a new engine oil and fill it up and let it soak for some time keep it aside for later use when we are replacing the oil filter take all the other parts that have come out of the engine case and using diesel or petrol clean them up thoroughly with a plastic toothbrush so what we are trying to remove is uh, any kind of gum or adhesive that has been used to stick them onto the engine casing we have to clean it off so scrub all the parts well so that no sign of any rubber adhesive or any kind of glue is left on them next you will need 3 liters of engine oil i am using the motul full synthetic engine oil on my bullet so it lasts for around 6000 kilometers if you are changing from regular motul or liquid gun oil to uh, uh, fully synthetic or semi synthetic oil it is advisable to uh, flush the engine once before changing uh, this is a lazy bond uh, RTV silicon sealant which I'll be using to seal seal off all the drain plug cap and bolts this is optional you can choose uh, you can use gaskets if it, they are available or you can just put them up without the sealant but I prefer using the sealant so that there are no leaks from all the plug caps and bolts so once I apply the sealant to primary drain cap secondary drain plug and primary dra drain bolt I'll let them dry out for a while 
then I'll apply the sealant on the surfaces of the engine. Primary drain cap has suction filter with uh, with it. So first place the suction filter on top of primary drain cap and then bolt it in. Next, I will apply adhesive on the primary drain bolt. And then I'll tighten it with the bolt. It is very important that you do not uh, put too much pressure on any of the bolts. You have to tighten it, but do not tighten it too much. Otherwise, you can end up uh, breaking the threads and then uh, it is a very big problem. So applying the sealant on secondary drain plug surface and then I close that as well with a 19 emitter spanner and tighten it up once these are tightened I move on to the oil filter case Apply the RTV silicon sealant uh, here as well. Then I place the oil soaked new oil filter. After that, I place the o-ring gasket on top of the oil filter cap and then I close the cap over the oil filter making sure that the gasket is in place then applying pressure on the cap I screw on all the three bolts Then I use the 8mm ratchet to screw them up snugly one by one. Do ensure that you do not apply too much pressure at any time. Once these uh, bolts are secured, I uh, usually let the engine rest for uh, around a day so that the sealant takes hold. Now opening the oil cap can be difficult with bare hands because mechanics tighten it too well so you use a hammer and any kind of a long rod to tap it anti-clockwise. Once it is loose you can open it with your hands. Keep your eyes on the minimum and maximum marker on the oil level uh, display. So it should never exceed more than the top mark. Otherwise, your engine will start smoking. And then using a funnel, you can pour in the oil. As you pour in the oil, you see that oil river 
uh, rises in the display also you have to ensure that uh, uh, once you have seen the oil come up to the top level you close the cap uh, with hand and then run the engine a bit because sometimes the oil doesn't reach every part of the engine so uh, even though it shows uh, in the marker as filled in the display as filled uh, it is not actually completely uh, filled so once you run the engine for one or two minutes you will see the um, oil go down in the um, oil display uh, again so again after running you have to uh, refill the oil usually your engine requires around 2.5 liters of engine oil and once again it reaches the top mark you you can close the cap and tap it with hammer and the rod and close it shut and the bullet is ready to roll